It's my feel good breakfast show. A very warm welcome back to your feel good breakfast show. It's a Wednesday and we are live on SABC3. Now it's time for our weekly finance chat. And today we take a look at a book whose title definitely grabbed our attention. It's called how to make your first million. And uh, with a name like that, we couldn't pass by the opportunity to invite the author himself, certified financial planner Warren Ingram, into the studio. Welcome, sir. You're probably the most anticipated guest of the day. <laughs> How, are you? You. How are you? How are you? Excellent. Um, now, before we unpack the title itself, I think, um, is it right for me to say that the idea of making your first uh, million is essentially a path towards financial freedom? That's exactly right. And I think that's the whole point is it's not about just a number. It's about how how do you get free of, of your money and, uh, and not work for the banks and work for debt? It's about how do you take control? Yeah. How would you differentiate financial freedom to being wealthy? Is there even a difference? Yeah, there's a massive difference. I think if we, you know, we all, we all know the stories of the Mark Zuckerbergs who started Facebook and yeah. that, and you know, they, they have this money that can feed a small country. And I think that takes hard work and dedication and mm -hmm. a lot of luck. Financial freedom, you don't need luck. It's, it's something that you can do. It's something that you can control. It's something that you can achieve. That you can actually plan for. You can. So how do you then go about finding this financial freedom? And like you said, it's easily achievable. Where does one even start? I think there are three steps. Uh, step one, you've got to take control of the debt problem, the D word. Uh, and, and that's something that you just absolutely have to start with. So, so get rid of your bad debts, your credit cards, your personal loans, et cetera, et cetera. Then build up an emergency fund, so some money to take care of expenses, and then start saving. And build up your, your long-term investment portfolio. Yeah. Can we quickly just talk about the D word first, just so that people also understand exactly what it is? Because, I mean, if you're paying off, let's say, a bond on your house, that's not, that, that, that doesn't fall, form part of the D word, does it? No, it's okay. So, so I'd call that good debt. Good uh, debt. Good Bad debt, good debt. Good, uh, good debt is something where you're going to borrow money to buy, buy an asset that's going to grow in value. It's going to appreciate over time. Yes. Bad debt is when you go and borrow money to go and buy shoes, to go on holiday, to go and buy that, that piece of furniture you absolutely have to have. Mm. It's cool to do, but unfortunately it destroys your wealth. Wow, okay, so that's the first part of it. You take care of the bad debt situation. What then? Th then you say to yourself, okay, so I don't want to go into debt if the world falls apart, if an emergency happens, something that you can't plan happens to you. Mm -hmm. So that's where you've got to build up an emergency fund. Yeah. So if you spend 10,000 bucks a month, your emergency fund should be around 30,000 Rand. That sits okay. in a money market account, something that you can control, that, that you don't have to pay someone to look after. It's, it's, it's just there, and it's not your emergency holiday fund, it's just your emergency fund. Okay, okay. And then what after, what after that, then, once you've got that in order? So th then it comes the, the, the hard slog, which is then saving a, bit le uh, saving a bit of money every month. In other words, spend a bit less than you earn every single month for every single year of your, of your working career. Yes. Start building up your, your asset base. If you do that, it'll, it'll take you about eight years if you're disciplined to build up your first million, which I know, I know it sounds like a long time, but the amazing thing is once you've got your first, your second gets, takes you about four years, your third about three years, and so on and so on and so on. Yeah, and you get kind of used to that pattern of living as well. What I'm concerned about, Warren, uh, is, is the fact that um, what you've been saying in terms of financial planning and financial freedom hasn't included an element of fun, right? And we, we, we've all heard that, that YOLO say you only live once, and some people do believe that you are working right now as a young person, and you do deserve to give yourself a little bit of time to enjoy what you've been working for. Does it, is that included in the plan for financial freedom? Great question. So, so definitely, I mean, I think if you say to yourself, okay, for every 100 bucks I earn, I'm gonna take the first 15 bucks, I'm gonna save that. Yeah. The rest is yours to spend as you see fit. So if you wanna spend that on, like for me it's travel, I gotta travel. Okay. So I'm gonna spend my money on travel, I'm not gonna spend on cars. It's an amazing thing about uh, South African men, we, we dig our cars. And I mean, why well, spend that in a car when you can go and you know, travel overseas and see the world? <laughs> Because you need to have that last number when no one... All right, all right. Very, very interesting stuff. We'll come back and uh, talk some more with Warren about financial freedom, what it all means, and uh, how we as South Africans can start developing those kind of financial little goals that we can set up to help us all reach our first million. I don't know, Leanne, maybe you've reached your first million already. You want to share some tips? 